So we're solove.co um, and we are a platform for crowdsourcing fashion design. What that means is that anyone with an idea for fashion design can submit their sketch on our website. Uh, the community, the Solove community votes for their favorites and comments on designs. Um, and then the items that float to the top of that voting uh, of e each month, uh, we assess and we see is it feasible, is it marketable, and if it is, we uh, produce the item, we manufacture it, and the designer gets their name on the label and a percentage of the product. Our dad is an entrepreneur and was always, we always were just inspired by him. Every industry, every um, interest we took, he kind of trained us to think about how we could make this our own and how we could yeah. uh, turn it into something that was unique and new and, and things like that. And so I think we've always kind of felt that way. And yeah. Just this time. <laughs> um, neither one of us has ever worked in the fashion industry. Um, and so we had a lot of learning to do and just figuring out, you know, just fabrics and distributors and manufacturers and pattern making and all of that and there's all these terms and all of these um, middlemen and all of these processes that we needed to learn from from scratch um, and I think the way we overcame it well number one was just doing it like you just kind of got to do it and you have to make mistakes and you have to spend a little too much on a fabric to realize that you can get it somewhere else for, for a better price. I was working as a lawyer um, and I left my job as law, in a law firm and if you talk to any lawyer who's working the law firm they'll tell you that it's incredibly risky to do that because once you step off of this path, it's really hard to get back on. Um, and so, um, but I made the conscious decision of, you know, I know that the path that I was on at the law firm wasn't what I wanted to be doing. So I especially burn the boats, but what it basically means is when you burn the boats, you can't go back because the boats are gone. So you are where you are and you're going forward only and that's basically what I have to do. So. It's one of those things where there's never the right time to do it and so you just, when you have an opportunity, when you have a dream, you kind of you kind of have to go all in um, and, and like Sylvia said, burn the boats and, yeah. and don't look back.